What's up guys? Welcome to the Auto Garage YouTube channel. Today we're going to be reapplying the Plasti Dip on the front of this 2010 Acura TSX. And to start off, we're going to take it off. We are almost done taking off all the Plasti Dip. Just a little bit more to go around the edges. And the reason that we are reapplying the plastic dip is because it got worn out and started to tear up. So I figured it would be best to redo the entire thing because it's kind of hard to fix it once it starts to go. So we just taped off the first part. And as you can see, we're taping right along the border. They are making sure that this is completely uncovered and this is completely covered. You want to be really precise about that and it'll finish a lot better. We've now taped off the borders all the way around the grill, and we've also taped off the Acura emblem because we are keeping that chrome. And we're now gonna use newspaper to tape off around here to make sure the spray doesn't get on everything. And we're also gonna put some over here just because I don't want it spraying, spraying all willy-nilly. Oh yeah, bottom half looking good. Protect that paint. You start spraying. When you're spraying, you wanna spray about a foot away, and you wanna get all angles of the grill. I'm not gonna hold my phone for this because I don't wanna get spray paint on the lens. So we'll see you in a minute. And this is all the first coat should be. It should not be thick. You should still be able to tell what the original color was. And when you're spraying, you wanna do the same direction. Just did the second coat and we did it a bit thicker than the first coat. You can still see some chrome, but not a whole lot. That's exactly what you want. We're gonna give this about five, 10 minutes to dry. And then we're gonna do the third coat. Third coat's down. It's this nice solid black color that you're gonna be going for now. And whereas how many coats you should do, I'm probably gonna do five or six, but four is probably the minimum you should you would wanna do. But ideally, you'd wanna go for five or six. And it looks good from all sides. And when you take this stuff off, the surrounding, but especially in the middle and on the emblem, you're gonna be wanting to be really careful not to just peel it all up because that'll be really easy to accidentally do. That's not what you want. Just applied two more coats and we are finally ready to take off all of the wrapping and see what the final product looks like. And there's all the removal, nice and clean, except for the emblem, which is gonna be a little bit tricky it's gonna take some extra work to get it off clean. Cause again, you don't wanna rip off the actual final product. But as long as you're careful, it should come off pretty easy. Again, not wanting to rip it. Take that piece off, add it to the pile. And just like that, we're ready to roll. And just like that, we completely transformed the front look of this car. Before it was, the front was, in my opinion, this ugly chrome. And now it's this rich black color, which I think contrasts great with the paint and matches the headlights. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more. This is Michael, and welcome to Auto Garage. 